Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I'd like to start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makakadash, double honors to the head elders and apostles, a great millstone who will want to teach well. Also, I'd like to give a shout out there to the hopeful elect, to Yaakim, a few aquas who are sincere and is true, as well as believers of this word, but not just believers, but doers as well. And again, to you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right? Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So it's going to be quick and short and straight to the point, man. But let's get straight to it. I'm going to read the um the screenshot I have here. As you can see, it was shared by the um the elder from Dallas, Elder Yasha Wamba. But uh, it says, MP is disproportionately affecting black Hispanic people. Latest CDC breakdown shows. All right? As you can see... <laughs> It's saying the MP, the MP is mainly, you know, uh, targeted to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, who are the 12 tribes of Israel, who make up the 12 tribes of Israel, man. You know, and again, as we often say, man, the warning has been given out to you niggas, man. You know, because but you niggas, you refuse to listen. You refuse to hearken unto the message. So here it is, the Lord... And may, if I may say, this is prophecy as well because the Lord said he would send pestilence upon the land, man. But, you know, again, as you see, you know, here it is, the Lord, he's sending, you know, he, he's making you niggas sick. He's taking you out. He's giving you that, <laughs> the monkey box, <laughs> as the brother Tazai won't like to say, man. You know, he's giving you this pestilence, man. All because you refuse to repent, man. You see? But let's get the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. So the scripture is telling you, to remember the creator, man, in the days of thy youth. You know, why uh, all hell has not broken loose, man. This is the time to actually repent, man. To turn back uh, into your power, man. Yahweh, you know, dealing with his, uh, the heavenly father, which means uh, he is or he exists. Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, you know, he, he saves, you know, uh, which who you ignorantly know is Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, but Yahweh Shah is his real name, man. You know, your savior, man. You see, the one who died on the cross for you. Not Caesar Ray Bourgeois, man. You know, not not that that Edomite, man. You know, because some of you, you a lot of, if I may say, a lot of Jakes know that that's not, you know, the, the true savior, man. You see, but still, you have to remember your creator, who your, who's your power is, man. In the days of you, why? You know, the, the, the missiles haven't been shot off. You know, while the teeth of wild beasts has not, you know, been fully in effect yet, it's out there. You know, people are dying every day by, you know, these different spirits of, of, of vengeance. But it, everything, the Lord has not really let go, you know, that sword yet. He ain't really let Esau get down how <laughs> Esau would usually get down, man. But again, this is the time to seek him now, man. While the doors of mercy are, are, are still open, man. Matter of fact, real quick. Let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. All right. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. All right? So, make no turn to turn to the Lord, man. Here it is. The prophets are still out. You know, uh, lessons are still being dropped. Hell, you got news articles being dropped as well, warning you of the famine, telling you that there is a famine. You know, and the Lord is using his prophets, his prophets you know, starting our head elders and apostles of Great Millstone and on down, as well as the like-minded brothers that teach the same doctrine. The Lord is using them, you know, his men, you know, to let you know, you know, hey, uh, it's going to get worse. Evils are only evils, man. You know, so this is why you shouldn't put off not day to day. Don't be thinking in your fucking mind, oh, I'm going um, 
I'm gonna get better tomorrow. You know, oh, I fucked up today, so let me just get better tomorrow. No, nah, man, you're supposed to correct that shit right then and there. You know, and, and, and repent and, you know, and <laughs> put that off day to day, man. Put off that old man, you know. That's what you should be doing daily, being renewed within your mind, man. You see? Because it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Because you don't know, first of all, you you can get judged at any time, man. You know, hey, they say it in the world all the time. You know, you don't know when your last day is. You see? So that's why you should constantly be repent. Because the Lord, he do He do the killing. You know, he, he make it alive, man. You see? So that's why you should really, you know, this is the time to repent, man. Because for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security again thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And you, in your security, where you think, you know what I mean, where you comfortable at, you know, Lord, he's going to, that's what he'll put your ass down at, man. You know, <laughs> here it is. A nigga, you know what I mean, he got his feet kicked up. He get, he got burning back on or somebody. And he, he fuck around eating popcorn. He fuck around and choke on one of them popcorn. Now he out. <laughs> you see? All because he didn't repent or something, man. That's how easy the Lord can take you out, man. You know, but especially mainly these times, you know, Jacob's trouble, as we often speak on, man, you want to repent, man. Because you don't want the Lord to, to catch you lacking, you know, in, in the times we're going into, man. Matthew 24. What is that? I want to just get one scripture. Yep, 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. All right? And if you jump up on that, you know, above that, as you see, I got a highlighter here. You know, you read on down. I'm not going to read it, but you can, you know, you can get it yourself. You know, scriptures tell you, blessed is he, you know, who readeth. You know, as you can see, you know, Lord is letting you know, you know, the signs before his coming, man. You see? And, and the signs, you know, is, you know, evils and only evils, man. Like Brother um, Malachi mentioned yesterday in camp, hey, it, it, it got to get ugly before it gets pretty, man. You see? It's, all hell is going to break loose, man. It's going to get bad out here. Again, Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble is mainly to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's exactly who it's for, man. You see? And all together, you niggas going to die. You know, you're going to melt by the thermonuclear missiles with the um, with the other nations that dwell here in Babylon. And Esau eat them himself, man. You niggas going to melt, man. But Jacob's trouble is mainly to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So this is your time to repent. All right? Going back in Ecclesiastes. All right? 12 and verse 3 it says in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of windows be darkened so alright so basically you know what I mean when the keepers of the house which that's going into the elites man you know and the strong men shall bow themselves and shit man hey that's, that's going to actually happen man you see, hey, your, poli your policemen, <laughs> you know, because they're going to be worried about feeding their families in the times to come. You see, the grinders cease. Hey, the economy is going to collapse, man. It's not going to be any jobs in a minute because, like we were speaking on yesterday, account, hey, motherfuckers is quitting day by day. You know, and, and motherfuckers getting laid off as well, man. You see? These things are happening. This is this is prophecy. And the wind and it's just and those that look out the windows be dark and they're not gonna find a way out, man. It's not gonna be no way to escape. You see? Continue it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So, you know, it, it, that's that lockdown. That's going into that lockdown, man. It's another lockdown is coming. Can't you see it? First you had the um 
you know, the C-19 lockdown, which that was just to see how you motherfuckers was going to react. But now you got this MP lockdown, man. Hey, and this devil coming with it. You see? He's coming with it this time, man. So it's, it's best to prepare yourself, man. You know, through the spirit of power, you how about Shemi Awashah, man. You know, and I wanted to get a, um, a precept real quick. Isaiah uh, so like 19 and starting at verse 14. It says, The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggering in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rush may do. So the point is right there really is that the jobs, man, motherfuckers going to stop working, man. Especially with this MP going around. They're not going to want to be around anybody, man. <laughs> They're not going to want to be around anybody. Because it's contagious, you know, somebody touch you and it's over with. You know, you, you most likely you, you'll get it. You know, but this is the time to really come into the house of the Lord. Coming to the safe house. You see? And, and the first step by doing that is fearing the Lord. And if you fear the Lord, it's going to lead to repentance. You're going to repent. You know? But you got to actually, whether you believe it or not, you got to actually have faith to, to actually fear the Lord. Because you you having faith, you knowing that the Lord is about his word. You know the Lord is actually... <laughs> He's going to get down, man. And then faith got to be within you, man. It got to be within you. All right? So, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying, man. I mean, not by giving all praises and glory to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kadash, the bonds to the head, elders, and apostles, a great millstone who rule and teach well. Again, giving a shout out there to the whole free elect, to you, Akim, if you, Akwa, who are sincere and it's true. As well as believers of this word, but not just believers, but doers as well. Till next time, I say shalom.